This is Odin's Wolf Survival. I'm in the sunlit subterranean cavern of Wolfhaven. On the shield table today, we have the Mora 510. Now, I've had Moras for quite a while, and usually the classic. Here lately, I picked up the 510. It's not a bad little knife. I rather like it. It's carbon steel, and then they're sub $20, which is awesome. And I was rather surprised. I do, do not normally like polypropylene or plastic molded handles like this, but I was rather surprised with the fit and the feel of it. It doesn't, it fits good, doesn't feel bad. And the way that that's molded, my fingers just tend to rest in, which gives it a good indexing for the edge. Because if you try to turn it over, this lip down here tells you that's where the edge is at. And my hands are not huge, but they're somewhat large, and they actually fit this quite nicely. Feels good in the hand. I've used it quite a lot, and it doesn't wear hot spots or anything along that line. Cuts onions great, great for field work. Uh, a lot of what I do with it is, since it's a sub $20 knife, it goes in my kit bag for like when I'm doing hobbies or taking stuff out. It's one of the knockabout knives I use, so if something happens like some idiot steals my stuff, they're getting, granted they're getting a good knife, but it doesn't cost me a hundred bucks like the hell of Viking that I really like. You know, that, that would irritate the crap out of me a lot more. But, this does everything I want it to do. It's a nice thin blade, which it is about 08 of an inch. The only thing that I'm going to do, you know, and you can't expect everything out of a $20 knife. I'm going to go in and square off the back of one of these for scraping a ferrocium rod. And I'm going to do a few other mods to the handles. I want to stipple it and take the button belt loop off of the sheath and then make cover, make a leather covering for it. A little, few, few little things like that just to make the knife a little better, which I got this one at Ragweed Forge. I'll get another one and do that to it. That way I'm not out my knife while I'm doing it. I'm going to sh 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 bleh, excuse me, change the shape of the handle somewhat, make it more of a tapered barrel, and with the stippling it'll improve the grip. Just something I want to do, and that might end up on video down the road. Like I said, this is a good carbon steel blade. Overall length is 9 inches. The blade is 3.75 inches. The weight is 3.2 ounces with the sheath, which is just stupid light. As you can tell, it's a Scandi grind. Polypropylene handle, as I said, plastic sheath. And Mora has been in business since 1891 in Mora, Sweden. And I have one of their, they started out with like, I think, kitchen knives and things along that line. I've got a couple of their their knives like that. I've carried their classic blades for quite a long time. Now, this thing holds an edge really good and it gets really, really sharp. Nice thing about a Scandi grind is if you when you have to sharpen it, most of the time all you need to do is drop this thing. But if you have to sharpen it, just lay the lay it flat and pull it down. A lot of people will put a secondary angle on those on these. I don't like a secondary angle. Just pull it down. And this is a Jasper stone, which is really fine anyway. So you can see it's got a good edge. Bites in the thumbnail really nice. Let's see what it does on the takes hair without any problem. That's going to itch later. <laughs> Don't mind my hands. I've been in stain working on a project for a friend. That's, that's basically a $20 knife. About the best you're going to get out of a $20 knife. Anymore, it's getting hard to find carbon. I like carbon steel. And this has been in all kinds of stuff. And it hasn't started. You can tell it hasn't started staining yet much. If really at all. 
I'm a, that's the other thing I might do is I might darken one of these up. I like a dark blade. I, I don't know. It's just kind of cool. Where the Scandi, where the Scandi grind shines really nice is carving. And this is, I'm just playing about with a bit of extra cedar from that project for a friend. I'm not pushing hard. I can take bigger chips if I want to. Spoon I'm working on. This will probably be seen too. I've been making these and hanging them up, so. Works good for that. I've seen people where other instructors where they'll run a ferrosium rod with the edge of their knife. I don't like doing it. It doesn't hurt it. This one, as a matter of fact, has been off of a Harbor Freight uh, magnesium block, which are just hard as woodpecker lips. I've used this one with no damage to the edge to scrape that hard crap. <laughs> it worked. It worked fine. Uh, that's another one I don't like doing. I'm not a big fan of those blocks. But when you're for two bucks or less, they're nice to practice with when you don't have to. So you can keep your skills down, keep your skills up, you know, just to test yourself on a harder block. Then you carry something a little better in your normal gear. But they're awesome to practice with because they're, they're hard and they're harder to use. So if you can use one of those with regularity and get a good fire or get it going, your block your normal everyday carry block or magnesium you'll be able to use with no problem when you really really have to and things are getting tense this makes some really nice fine little curls for a feather stick you can just sit here and do this all day long with these knives they're simply <laughs> they're simply a joy to use as far as i'm concerned for 20 bucks or less get you several. Like I said, I got this from Ragweed Forge. They're a good company to work with, so I don't have any problems going through that route. I've uh, talked to the owner, really nice guy. So there you go. This is Odin's Wolf Survival with the Mora 510. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you very much. Have a glorious day.